Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, we're going to talk about two major features Elementor have added in the recent update Elementor 3.25. That is the anchor offset and the live search result pagination. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. Before now, we are faced with the problem of getting the anchor point links to take visitors to the specific section within our page, especially if we have sticky headers on our page. The anchor link tends to scroll to a position underneath the sticky header. Basically, when the link to the section is clicked, the page will automatically scroll so that the top of our section is aligned to the top of the viewport. In some cases, the sticky header hides beautiful content, thereby breaking the consistency of our design and we have no control over this. As you can see, when you click on this about, you can see what just happened. Okay, instead of getting us to this point where we can see this reading explore premium features it takes us here you can even try it out with the service and we can see this looks great but if you try with a portfolio you can also see had it been there is a title here it will cover it and if you come over to this pricing now you can see it covers this important text here which is pricing check out the valuable um, prices as you can see so and if you click on the download it does the same it takes you here and and this doesn't look great and it makes our design look somewhat not beautiful. However, with the coming of the Elementor 3.25, we now have the ability to control this with the use of a new feature called the Anchor Offset, which we're going to talk about in this tutorial. Before we can make use of this new feature, we make sure we have already updated our plugin, our Elementor Pro plugin to version 3.25. Twenty-five, and depending on where you have your header, in this situation we have our header. Uh, we've created a header template, so we're just gonna go to our header template by opening this in a new tab, okay? And then we'll come over here. Now this is what we we'll have here, and this is the container where our header is. All right. So now for this container here, we're gonna go to the advanced settings, and then we're gonna come down here to where we we'll have the motion effect. Now you can see that we have a sticky effect set to sticky top, okay? And then. We're going to come over here you can see now we have this sticky offset and then we now have the effects of offset which is which has already been here before and then the new uh, offset which is now the anchor offset this is the feature we're talking about so with this feature you're able to control where visitors are taken to whenever they click now this issue here will be fixed here okay so to fix it we're just going to come back here and then for the offset here you're going to set the value now you can try values from 70 80 and 100 and i believe such values will get you to the right point so let's try the value 100 first okay and now let's click on the publish okay so now we'll come to our website and let's say we refresh this let's refresh our website okay and we'll click on the about we can see you see where it takes us to the beginning of the container if you click on the service it takes us to the beginning of the container. Even the portfolio takes us to the beginning of the container. The pricing does the same, takes us to where we can see this pricing text and this very well without any issue, unlike what we had before. Even the download, it takes us to the beginning of the container, which is great. And then you can also come back here. If you're not happy with that value, you can reduce this to, um, let's say, e tip. And then you click on publish. And then you go back to your website and refresh the website. Okay, so now when you click on the about, you can see you can see here now that there is a gap here. Unlike when we had hundred, had the value hundred. Okay, and then when you click on services, you can see it, which is also great. Just it depends on where you want it to to show. Okay, and the pricing. The thing there is that the good thing there is that you now have the ability to control it, which is a very wonderful feature Elementor has given to us in and mind you this feature is only available from elemental 3.25 and above okay so if you do not have that make sure you update your elemental pro plugin to elemental 3.25 and above i recently did a video about the live search results and a lot of people complain that the live search result doesn't come with pagination within the live results thereby making it difficult for visitors to see a lot of uh, results within the live search whenever they search for a particular product that has a lot of results. So Elementor have provided us with these new features whereby the live search result now allows us to add pagination within 
the result, which is what we're going to talk about in this tutorial. So in this live search result widget, we're just going to come over here and click on the edit. And then this is the search field. You can come over here, set all the settings as usual. And then we'll come over to the results. I won't be talking much about this. We're just going to focus more on the new features that have been added, which is the pagination. If you want to see more or explain video on the live search result, there's a link in the description of this video where you can see my previous video on the live search result. So we're just going to come over here to where we have the additional option. Now, this is the new feature Elementor has added, which is the pagination. Now, we now have various types, which is the numbers, the previous and the next. We now have the combination of both the numbers and the text. So we're just going to set it to number. Okay. Now, there is also an option for you to set the page limits. We're just going to come over here and let's test it out. So let's search for the text album. Now we can see now that we now have album and we now have our pagination is not here because this text, the these, the word we search for has a lot of content. That is why we now have a pagination here. So now we can also go to the style option and tweak it a little bit. Now we'll come over here to the additional option where we now have the ability to tweak it. So we we'll see now this is the pagination here. We can align it to the end. We can align it to the middle. We can align it to the start. We can also set the vertical position either to the top or to the bottom, depending on what you want. You can also come over here and tweak the typography, the font size, and whatever you want. Uh, this is just massive. This is great. And then come over here to where we have the colors, the normal state, which you can set it to whatever color you want, as you can see. And then we now have the hover, which you can change. When you hover, you now have this, and then the active, you can set it to uh, red, uh, let's set it to white, which is what you have now. You now have the ability to also set the space between each, as you can see, and let's set it to the middle, let's align it to the middles, and then we can also come over here, the top spacing, you can also increase this and that, and then the bottom spacing as well. So now, we, we've been able to add this and set it. Now when you click on this, it takes you to the next page and you can see it takes you to page one, depending on as much as you have. This is just a wonderful feature that you can use on your website to spice things up. Okay. So that's pretty much it about this um, tutorial where we've talked about the two major features that Elementor have added in their Elemental Pro plugin 3.25. I hope if you've learned something new in this tutorial, if you're new to our channel, remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you get notified facts when next I drop a new video. Feel free to drop your comments, whatever you're confused or have a question or suggestion, and I'll do it to attend to as much as I can. But until then, see you on our next video. Bye-bye.